Hey guys, welcome back to VBA to Z. As a part of UI and UX series, in this short video, I'll be showing you how to install command controls to your computer. If you do not find controls such as list view, um, month view or calendar, date picker, uh, the tree view, flat scroll bar, and so on from your user form, this video is for you. If controls are missing from your computer and they are being referenced in your project, uh, you'll see an error object library invalid or contains references to object definition that could not be found. In the following videos, I'll be showing you how to use these powerful controls. If you do not have these controls installed in your computer, you'll face an error. So just follow this short video to install updates to your computer. Please find the link to download the package from the video description. Let me go there now. This is Microsoft official site. Once you go there, you'll find a download button here. So basically the requirements and every details of it is written here. So if you want, you can go through that. But if you are using any Windows from Windows 7 and above, you should be okay. So click on download. It'll go to your downloads folder. So basically this is the package that you need to install. You don't have to, you know, like use a command line or anything to register this. But if you're curious as to what is behind this package, you can just extract it to the folder. And then here you'll see all the items, DL files, OCX files, which will be installed to your computer based on uh, the requirement. Okay, so you can simply run this, even if you already have it, it's okay to run it. So once you run it, it'll update your computer, it'll ask you, are you sure you want to update this common controls? Because these controls are not just used from user form, but from um, from various interfaces, be it .NET or if you're using any programming from um, C Sharp or um, you know other controls, uh, window, Windows uh, interface, then you you will be accessing them. So uh, just be aware of that. And I'm gonna run this, and then it's gonna ask you, do you want to go ahead and just click on yes, and then it'll say this is done. Okay, so this as simple as this. So this this particular um, again, these controls are basically for uh, tree view, image list, and so on. If you go to additional controls, you'll actually be able to see this. So for example, date and time picker is from uh, MSCOM CT2. Uh, the flat scroll bar is from CT2. Tree view is from CTL, for example, up and down from cd2 extra okay so this will take care of the tree view um list view and so on but in case the date picker is missing there is a video already uh which you can use uh refer to it's a very simple video that i made um some years ago let me quickly go there and give you a quick walkthrough and i'll leave the link as well okay so if you go there basically it tells you to download I think the OCX file, this OCX file, and then you just need to paste it in, into this Windows folder called uh, syswall64. Once you install it here, then you need to copy the path and then you need to run a command line to register this. So here, just copies this particular path where the object is being pasted and this runs this. It is as simple as that. So I'll leave the link to download this particular object as well as on how to register. You can refer to this video for that. And then you should be good to go on this one. If you're not aware, you can also create new tabs and call, you know, like have them. Uh, for example, here I create a new tab and then I drag all the common controls here. So that's easy, easier to find. So after you install uh, this package and then the, for the date control, if you do not see them, follow that video along. And then once you go to your additional controls, you should be able to see all these items that you need to check and should be available uh, for, your, uh, for your interface. So that's all I have for you now. In our next video, we'll go in detail on how to use the powerful list view control to display data sets in various ways. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.